Hello everybody, today was the day I'm sure many of you long awaited the release of the Dark Souls Remaster. Or did you? Yeah, there's a lot of controversy surrounding the game. Did they change enough to warrant more of your money? Are the graphics even an improvement? How good do Guinevere's tits look in 2018? I've got those answers for you and more. On the matter of reviewing Dark Souls as an overall game, I'll leave a link in the description to my review of the previous version. To summarize, it's a masterpiece largely in the first half because of its pacing, creative bosses, and superb level design. But it gets bought down in its second half with some irritating areas and lackluster bosses that give a growing sense of fatigue aside from a few highlights like Gwyn in the Legendary DLC. Today I want to focus primarily on a high level overview of what we are getting in Dark Souls Remastered. In other words, what did the game add that the original Dark Souls did not have? Without further ado, let's take a look at Dark Souls Remastered. Not a lot. I spent seven hours playing through the entire game in one sitting and I found barely anything to be a noticeable difference. Here's a few things I did notice. The intro cutscene is exactly the same, but that's cool because it was extraordinary in 2011 and still is seven years later. The graphics have seen a... bump. GET THE FUCK DOWN FROM THERE! Jump! That is if this bump is a banana peel that causes this game to go careening into the abyss of shit. To be frank, the graphics aren't improved all that much at all. The textures still look like ass. The lighting changed apparently, and the models for the player and enemies are a bit better, but really from soft. Where are my UHD 4K tatas? <laughs> That in mind, the game does run very smoothly at 60 frames with minimal frame drops, but mind you, I'm playing on a top-of-the-line PC, so that may not apply to everybody. The only truly drastic change I noticed graphically was the appearance of magic. It actually looks the best it ever has in the entire series. At times, it makes things look far more robust than ever before. For example, check out what happens if you smack Priscilla. But why? Why would you do that? Or another example, look at the Stray Demon's AoE blasts. You can actually see where they are. Even the Bed of Chaos looks better than before. I'm complimenting the Bed of fucking bullshit! Seeing this level of graphical upgrade leaves me scratching my head why the rest of the game didn't see this treatment. They've added small quality of life changes like holding the D-pad up or down to insta-swap to your first equipped item, changing covenants at bonfires, using multiple items at once like souls, and mapping jumping off a fucking circle to L3. You can now have six players online via use of the dried finger, they added password matchmaking, and they updated the arena to 3v3 and six-person death matches. But for PC, you're gonna have to deal with hackers. Specifically, there were a few sad individuals running around on day one invading people's worlds and getting them soft banned through hacking. While the hackers in this case are complete tools, this is on FromSoft for not having better cheat prevention. There are other multiplayer changes, but I won't go over them here since I'm not much of a multiplayer guy myself. In a final note though, of course with the new release, there is the benefit of a greater player base. Or is there? Veterans, new players, PC players, Xbox One, PS4, Switch. Well, fuck those Nintendo kiddos. They aren't getting the game until somewhere between summer and who the fuck knows. Seriously, I feel for you Switch owners. I want to fight Artorias while taking a shit too. First, let's focus on veterans. If you're solely a console owner and played Dark Souls on PS3 or Xbox 360 and are jumping to get back in, this is a great time to do it. This is the best version of Dark Souls that's available to you by far if you own an Xbox One, PS4, or Switch for its inevitable release. If you're on PC, however, it's a much different story. As an owner of Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition, you already have the game. Albeit a port of the game that runs horrendously, but thanks to the modding community, the game has been brought to a wonderful state that not only runs nearly as well as Dark Souls Remastered, but is in some ways superior thanks to the many mods and challenge modifications available. FromSoft knows this and offered a 50% discount for the remaster at $20. That's all good and well, but for some people, that just won't be enough considering you could look at this as a paid official patch for the original game on PC. It kind of is a slap to the face of PC players, but guess what? Some of us are gluttons for punishment. While I truly believe this update should have been free on PC, I've played Dark Souls enough over the years and I was willing to lube up and let FromSoft smack my booty for $20 because I wanted this remaster. And frankly, after playing the game, I have no regrets. It's a minimal upgrade over DS Fix Prepare to Die Edition, but I'll take it for a game I've played countless times. If you choose to vote with your wallet and avoid the remaster, I understand completely and commend your resolve. Finally, we have completely new players. If you've never played Dark Souls on any platform before and have found your way to my channel, I must believe you've played at least one of the other games at some point or at least show interest in the series. If you have, this is a great entry point to play a true classic of the last generation. What? 
Well, I'm still reeling from the deep penetration into my wallet, but in all seriousness, you could say I'm very whelmed. I fall into the PC veteran category, and though this is a minor change to a game I've been playing for years, it's a welcome one. I'm a big enough fan of the series that I was willing to pay $20 for these tiny alterations, but I can understand why some aren't, or are even asking for more. My recent playthrough didn't feel terribly different from any other Dark Souls run, but it was at least a little bit smoother with some new bells and whistles. And the next time I task myself with continuing the Age of Fire or bringing on the Age of Dark, I know I'll have a version operating with that external life support to go to. Clearly, there could have been more done here, and it really is a shame that there wasn't. However, I've decided that rather than being sad for what I'm not getting, I'm going to look forward to what I do get. 2017 was one of the best years of gaming we've ever had with games like Hollow Knight, Nier Automata, Breath of the Wild, Persona 5, Horizon Zero Dawn, Dead Cells, Mario Odyssey, the list really does go on and on. And 2018 already had heavy hitters like God of War 4 and Monster Hunter World. There's more games on the horizon like Spider-Man, Death Stranding, Red Dead Redemption 2, a potential Devil May Cry 5, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the Spyro Remastered Trilogy, Super Smash Brothers, Kingdom Hearts 3, The Last of Us Part 2, and of course, whatever Shadows Die Twice is. With E3 right around the corner, I'm brimming with optimism. The future of single-player gaming truly is promising, and even with a bit of cash cow tipping our way with Dark Souls Remastered, I have faith in FromSoft to continue their recent history of excellence with the new projects they release in the future. I hope you enjoyed my take on the remaster. Be sure to tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I'll be uploading my playthrough to YouTube alongside our Hollow Knight team Modathon, and I've got a couple of surprise videos to celebrate the remaster's release still to come. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to stay updated on all these new videos, and check out our Discord channel link below to stay connected with the community. I hope you all excuse my voice today, I'm getting over a bad cold, but wanted to get this video to you all as soon as I could. Thank you for your understanding. And of course, thank you all for watching, much love to you, and I'll see you in the next video.